In this next part, I'm going to start creating my report and insert my table and see if we can get the assets and liabilities onto the report. Oops, I chose the wrong, wrong one. Let me delete that and actually insert a table. Okay, here I'm going to right click on my data and insert and add a group. I'm going to have a parent group. And then for this, actually, I first have to connect this data set to my, to, to my data set, to this table to my data set. So I'm going to go over here and then under general, you see data set name. I'm going to connect this to data set one. Okay. So now, now I'm going to add my group, which you can see parent group. You can see now I drop down and I see my, my fields. Okay, I'm going to click on type and then I'm going to add a group header and a group footer and say okay. Okay, so it created my, my group for me and put in type here. Okay, I'm also going to want to put in my account name, which I can just drop down from here on my detail section. And then I'm going to put in my amount here. I don't actually need this third box. I'm going to delete this column. And so you can see it already added, added my sum in here. I'm going to delete those. Okay, so now we have our basic table. And then if I click run, I should get, I should, I should be able to get my assets and liabilities. It's going to ask me for my date. Oops, wanna, that's not the right parameter here. It's going to ask me for my date, which I'm going to put in my current date and view report. Okay, so you can see I have my assets and my liability section and then the totals for each.